How's it going, chicks mates? This is Miss Charles, and we're back with Monster Sweethearts, the sweethearttest of monsters. Anyway, previously we dealt with Bay. Well, we dealt with the fish lady. It wasn't really Bay, but we know it is Bay because it feels obvious. Uh, we found that the mysterious stranger came out with an object and was like, "Oh, I'm gonna do something," and then we skipped to the scene. So I don't know what happened exactly. Um, I'm expecting maybe an anxiety theme is just gonna come up in a minute like remember that that beautiful scene with the the lovely stuff the parasites whatever they are the the last plagas i think we're going to see that in a minute because this seems too nice and i don't trust my home anymore granted i was loving my home when we had to go through like you know the sierra thing the dating thing the our friends like other people thing i love that but now we've got a new storyline and i don't like it got the storyline of the scare the shit out of me i don't I don't feel safe in this place anymore. Not during this playthrough anyway. Because it might happen again. Right. She didn't look like she needed directions this time. So I kept walking. Uh, Alright. The, the, uh, the stranger. The mysterious lady. Okay. We got home pretty late. Which means the girls would usually be here. I guess they're off somewhere. Uh, they've been surprisingly chill lately actually. I suppose Sierra was in our bedroom last time. But still... I take off my shoes as I enter and head to the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> uh, is that... A body slams into me against the wall. Oh, okay, this is just kind of... Okay, so this isn't like in Parasites. This is just someone banging into me. I'm about to chew out which girl did this, but I catch a glimpse at their face, and it's the strange... Li oh, I've been stalked home. That's nice. Oh, and the music's back. Tell me what you know about the creature of the Black Lake. Uh, she's my friend. She has nice abs, and literally, I just wanna—I wanna eat that. I wish I was a fish. And don't be too loud, or I will kill you. Nice. Now I wanna die. <laughs> what? She turns her forearm against my neck. Nice. Tell me what you know about the creature from the Black Lake. I'm not repeating myself. Uh. Now these normally count for something. Uh, but I, mm, this is the first instinct reason thing I've had actually with Bay. Now they say it's normally quite obvious. If I do instinct, I'm going to try and hit her because it's, you know, I think that the, the instinctual thing is to just try and struggle. So I'm going to try and be reasonable about this. All right, I'll tell you. Good. A creature exists there, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> yeah, nice, cool. I'm not telling you more apparently. Guess you're useless now. She puts her forearm against my neck, choking me. Alright, I'm gonna save the game just in case you kill me. I'm gonna make another save just in case you make this save not work. Okay, alright, you can kill me now. I felt myself passing until I jammed my four fingers right into her left side, which sends her down. Okay, I kick her stomach, which makes her hit the wall behind her. Okay, before I could do anything, she charges at me, setting us on the floor. What about the girls upstairs? Do they not care what's happening? Is it that late in the night? I mean, surely if like you live with three other people and a, a burglar comes and they just kind of you know try and assault you, let's say assault, surely you'd scream for your friends to help you. You struggle a bit, they'd come down. And whatever. Her side is exposed, so I jam my fingers back in there and twist. Ah, fuck! The, the lights come on and the girls. Well, then the girls come down. Cool, finally. I push her off me. What the hell is going on here? I'm being assaulted. Jaylene, I'm being assaulted. Both Blake and Sierra run to my side. Sierra? <laughs> Sierra's being adorable. Your nose is bleeding. Oh, didn't notice. I look down and see blood stains on my shirt. Thanks for that. Okay, but who the fuck are you? No one you need to know. Okay, why are you in our house? Do you want to explain that? Do you explain why you're fucking... Eh, uh, whatever. What? I'm leaving. Alright, piss off. But can we get you arrested first? She tries to stand, but is back, put back down by pain. Ah, fuck. <laughs> what did you do to me? Well, you know, what did you do to me? You bloody assaulted me. All we did was help you with directions. Some kind of, like, Illuminati bitch we got here. She lifts her up. She lifts up her hand, and I see two very deep four holes. Okay. Two very deep four... Okay, cool. It went into the muscle. Oh, we have some strength for someone who's apparently a cripple, according to Victoria. 
Christ. Maybe you shouldn't have broken into our house. Yeah, good point there. I'm calling the sheriff. Don't. She'll be on my side. She knows my business. Yeah, and that's why she assaulted me. Does the law not matter in this game? I'm just curious. Like, does... Surely we should actually care about the fact that she came into my fucking house. The business of sneaking into a lady's home? I'm a lady. Yes, we also don't know you and you're just fucking assaulting me. Whatever, pervert. If you, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't call her a pervert. I mean, I know she's touching me and stuff, but whatever. Uh, Lexi picks up her phone and calls the sheriff. Damn, Jalen, you really did her in. Good. I was scared. How would you even get in? The back door wasn't locked. Well, that's what you get for being safe, guys. I mean, I never locked my door. You guys could just come in any time you want, but at least I have a front door which you need to access first. See, guys, I always tell you to leave it locked, and look at what happened. And I, and I'm specifically talking to you. She flicks at Sierra's ear, who flinches back. And that doesn't surprise me. Sierra's just clumsy. Ah well. <laughs> She's in a little corner there. That's adorable. How was I supposed to know there was going to be a murder at our door? Aww. Uh, we can't hate you, Sierra. You're adorable. That's what you're supposed to assume. Now Jelene has a bloody nose. I'll be fine. I barely feel it. Are you sure? She rubs her knuckles against my shoulder. Okay, is that her way of comforting me? Just kind of like rubbing her... Okay, cool. I'm sure. But feeling kind of d dizzy though. Cool enough. Jaylene, Jaylene, you okay? But how did you know to come here? Oh wait, is this the next... Di no, because the light's on. Why are you... How did you... Okay, well clearly you know something that you're not telling us. So, you okay? I open my eyes to the sound and see Bay above me along with the sound of, sounds of fighting. Okay. I jolt away just to see Bay in front of me and that the sounds are on the TV. Okay, so we flash forward a bit, did we? Blake is watching the creature from the Black Lagoon again for some reason. Hey there. Bay, what are you... Why are you here? You didn't return my call, so I uh, came over. Oh, why? What did you need? First off, tell me how you ended up with a bloody nose and on the couch. <laughs> Did Blake just kind of leave us to it? Thanks, Blake. I guess, you know, you can be... I wouldn't really call that careless. I don't know. I just kind of thought, like... I wouldn't expect to be by our side holding our hand and stuff. But, like, just putting on a the Black Lagoon movie. Whatever. Oh, some lady broke in and had a tussle. I know how she may worry, so I don't want to get into the details. Yeah, but I'm sure Bay knows enough from that alone. Excuse me? Nothing big. Um, I don't know. I'm fine, don't worry. Did she have a hat that kind of fused with her head? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Are you sure? I've been asked that so many times. I mean, at least people care about us. I mean, uh, I'm kind of glad I don't get assaulted. I don't know who would actually come and visit me. <laughs> everyone would be concerned about everyone else's neighbours. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, ha, I'm sorry. But to answer your second question, I don't know how I got onto this couch. We got lifted up, we got carried. I passed out beforehand. I put you there and stayed with you down here just watching TV. Yeah, this is why I wish we could date Blake, but we can't. No need to thank me, I know I'm a hero. Oh, thanks Blake. Hmm. I answered your questions, now answer mine. Well, the situation is a lot less ideal, but I made you something. Would, oh, really? I'm trying to get out of this question asking, god damn it, it better be something good. I start to get up, but she pushes me back down. Stay down, you need it. Ugh. Once I'm back down, she reaches into her pocket and pulls out a CD case. I made you a mixtape. But can we listen to it? Is there any chance of being able to listen to the music you are you are gifting us here? What, really? Yeah, I, uh, I made them for my friends. Ah, uh, we've been friends then. Well, on to the next let's play. <laughs> ah, whatever, fine, cool. I guess we're friends. Oh, bae. Thank you. I lean forward and give Bay a hug, who after a couple of seconds returns it. Alright. Bit of a weird exchange. So how are you feeling? Ah! Uh, what did I do? Ha <laughs> she's tired of hearing that. Well, sorry Miss Spoiled that you have friends that worry about your well-being. I mean, Blake's got a point there. We shouldn't be, we shouldn't take these people for granted. I mean, Bay's literally going to disappear, but at least, like, friends like Blake and Sierra, like, you know, stick by us and are there when we need them. I don't know what Lexi is, really. I don't know how to define her. I know, right? Oh, Bay made me a mixtape. A what? 
Yeah. Oh, you like mixtapes. See, these two would actually work together, Blake, because they're like into the same music, like they're into musical stuff. Doesn't Blake play the guitar? And I don't know, they look like they'd be cute together. Like, obviously, Bay looks like she'd be the Dom, but I feel like Blake would be the Dom, I don't know. I just think they'd be more suitable together, but then I don't know if Blake's a lesbian or not. I hope she's at least bi. I would. Anyway, oh, you like mixtapes? I do now, especially from a music nerd like Bay. Hey, you're a book nerd. Oh, thank you. I talked about books once. And I study English. I thought it was because we were doing a degree, but whatever. In a nerdy way. Stop that before I make Blake throw you out. That's my way of threatening her. You can barely make me do the dishes. Yeah, that's true. Everyone's just kind of independent here. Except us. Well. No, wait. We're the only independent one. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Can you tell I'm kind of desperate to get through this, this, like, bay thing? I want that goddamn part where they say, the fish girl is actually bay to come. Because I know they're going to make it like, oh, I'm a surprise. But, like, it's not a surprise. It's actually more annoying that I'm waiting for that right now. I feel like I'm waiting for, like... What's a good example here? Classical music, okay? Overture. You know that one end bit everyone knows? And there's, like, I don't know, like, 20 minutes before you got to listen to first. Like, this is the 20 minutes bit. And I want, I want that last orgasmic, like, overture finale. But it, we have to wait, like, centuries for it. Anyway, you're a slob. Thanks. You're lazy. Oh, cool. All right, are you two always like this? Basically. <laughs> Sometimes. Bay shakes her head whilst turning it towards the TV. Okay. It's at a part where they're impaling the creatures with a harpoon. Oh, and, and Bay didn't like that because she is a fish lady herself. My poor fish people. What kind of things do these humans make? Oh, her face is going to change. Watch this. Oh, I see Bay stiffen at the sight, turning her head away. Okay, well, she didn't change her face, but, you know, she had an awkward reaction. All right, then I'm going to head out. All right, bye, Bay. Dot, dot, dot. You're going to listen to the mixtape with me? I already listened to it before making it. Okay, I love you too. That's true. Yeah, you'll enjoy it more alone. Yes, most of the time with music, but, you know. I don't know, there's nothing about listening to music alone, you know. There's nothing fun about that. Okay. Bay nods as she walks out of the house. Should I have told Blake to turn the station? I guess it would be hard to see fellow monster kind die on screen like that. Mm, I guess. Yeah, whatever. She seems nice. Yeah. And you seem nice for putting on that movie. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, but what happened to that lady? Well, before the sheriff could come, she pulled a gun out on us and left. Why didn't she just use the gun then? Like, if she would have, like, grabbed us and then used the gun, like, how would we have gotten out? Because if we would have moved, we could have... Oh, whatever. I guess the story's got progress somehow. That's great. Hey, guys. Hey, Sierra. Is it just me, or have I been ridiculously thirsty? Interesting you're saying that twice, but okay. Did you get a new boyfriend? Shut up. Wait, did she? Sierra then goes to the kitchen, putting her head underneath the faucet. Come on, Sierra, have some class. Hey, you're the one who complained about the amount of cups in our room. Mm, true. Just reuse the damn things. I sit up and notice that I'm feeling much better. Uh, maybe we're a monster. Maybe we can regenerate really quick. I fix fast. I have to run some errands real quick. See you guys later. Alright, bye. F oh, no, that was us. Sorry. <laughs> bye, guys, I guess. Blake nor Sierra notices since Blake is too engrossed into telling Sierra to use cups. Oh, dear. Alright, back to... Okay, so I normally play my own music. At long fucking last, the theme tune has come on. And I'm going to revel in this. Oh, music. Do you have any idea how long I've missed just the song coming, out, coming on on its own? Why has it taken this long for the music to come on? Like, I can take it when the game's just got spelling errors, because I can normally guess what the errors are. But I genuinely miss the music. 
all right, well, hopefully, like, it'll just, you know, we'll keep the music for a bit. Phase timeline's just a bit messy. Fine, whatever. I decided that I'll listen to it when I get back from visiting my friend at Blackwater. Okay. Plus, it's best if I tell them about that strange lady. Once I get there, I don't see any movement. I go straight to Sky that Skylar's shack, but she's not there. Where is everyone? Yeah, people seem to be kind of afraid of us lately, don't they? Soon I hear a truck coming up to the said shack. Scully gets out and turns to the back of her truck. Help me get her out. What? She doesn't answer, so I walk with her and see the fish lady. She looks sickly and can barely move. Oh dear. Scully lifts her up without my help and puts her in the water. Okay, so I know I'm glad the music is back. But if our fish lady is suffering, is it really appropriate to have this song on of all things? I mean, this is like a chilly casual kind of song. But our, our fish friend is actually suffering here. And I, it just seems a bit insensitive to me. It's a couple of minutes before she emerges from the water, looking much better. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. Once she sees me on the pier, she swims over to me, putting her hands on my shoes. Ah, oh, that's nice. She pulls on them, making me land on my back. Thanks. Ow, what was that for? Because she's a bully. My legs were dangling over the pier. I sit up to get a better look at her. She crosses her arm over my lap and closes her eyes. Okay, hey. She doesn't stir. Uh, she's tired from being away from the water so long. I mean, I guess, is this like what happened? Yeah, but didn't Skylar say that it was half an hour? So like, I don't know, like how much of Bay do we see? Oh, I don't know, I'm just... I mean, she's always in the bloody um, the sessions for setting up the, the party thing. So, like, oh, I don't know. We were reaching an hour when we came back. Okay, so she can go up to an hour, I guess? Ah, uh, whatever. What made you... This lady came up asking about the creature and wanted to take a look around. Oh, so you don't know who the lady is. Right. I suspected she had bad intentions, so I put her in my truck when she wasn't looking. Did she wear all black and have lots of belts? Why? Well, that lady just broke into my home last night asking about what I know about the Blackwater. Did you tell her anything? No, not at all. Good. She's been snooping around here all week. Oh. Wait, so is she not related to Bay? Is, is she just a hunter? Why would she as... Okay, I I'm intrigued by that. I thought it'd be the mother or something. But, uh, okay, we'll see where this goes now. I'm curious. I'm actually curious of something in the Bay timeline. Who would have thought? I look down and see that she's still sleeping, her chest slowly rising and falling. Uh, a smile comes to my face as I rub her back for her. Can she breathe like this? Yes, it's like us. We don't need our entire body out of the water to breathe. Just our nose or mouth. Makes sense. But... Lately, whoever is dumping the waste is making it hard for her to breathe. Mm, okay. She has gills in her face and over her torso. So she's fine. Okay, cool. You better take care of her, though. She has a fondness for you for some reason. Maybe we just have one of those trustworthy faces. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just wonder how we even got this relationship in the first place. Just going off so well. I won't let anything happen to her. Skylar nods as she walks back to the shack. When I look back, I see that my lap is vacant. Uh, before I can worry, I hear movement under the pier. Oh dear. Smiling, I get to my knees and look under the pier, and sure enough, she was hiding there. What a cheeky little girl. Are we playing hide and seek now? Well, couldn't she just swim to the bottom of the ocean, and then we're, we're never going to goddamn find her? I mean, if, if we're playing hide and seek, that's, that's the way to just, you know, cheat. <laughs> she does a giggle as she swims towards me. Oh, that's nice. Once she's out from under the pier, she dives down and comes back up with a fish and places it on the pier. Um, she nods towards it and pushes it with her fingers. Ah, uh, thank you. But I can't eat that. She looks confused for a second before releasing humans. Oh, real, realizing humans, in fact, can't eat raw fish fr straight from the lake. Probably not. So she takes the incentive and eats it all in one bite herself. I mean, that was still a nice thing of you to do. I, I genuinely felt like, you know, you being a nice person there. What fish do you like? Mm. Right, you can't talk. I mean, we've been with them long enough, but whatever. Hold on. I get out my phone and look up a list of fish. I'm scrolling for her till she points out a fish. Tuna. She nods her head. Well, the tuna here isn't the best, especially fresh. 
She makes puppy dog eyes. It's expensive. Oh, she just expects us to feed her. Are you sure she's not more like a pet than she is a, a friend? Because I, I don't see the, the, the human relation here. I know she's we're, we're counting her as human because she's humanoid, and that's fine, but she can't speak, and she expects us to get her, like, treats all the time. I don't know. I, I guess she's trying to be nice to us as well, though, so whatever. She starts whining and puts her chin on my lap. Okay. Ah, fine. I'll see what I can do. Do you have a birthday this month? She nods her head no, looking sad. Nods her head. I think it means shakes, but whatever. Well, that seems like a birthday present, don't it? She pulls back from me and rolls her eyes. Hey! She giggles as she dives underwater again. I, I pair over the pier. <laughs> I peer over the pier, looking for her. Arrgh! She suddenly came up and spat water in my face. Man, why would you hang out with this girl? I'd hate to get my clothes wet. I'd be like, dude, literally, I've got to, I've got to live with this stuff. And she, we've said that this water's polluted, so it's clearly got to mess up our clothes. I don't know. I just don't think hanging around her is the, the the best idea in the world. But I guess if we like fish people, there's nothing we can do. Ew, that's not funny. She looks at me a couple of seconds before she jumps onto the pier, sitting right next to me. Oh, that's nice. Be careful, you might get water on me. I mean, you already have, and you don't care, so... Don't know why we bothered saying that. She ignores my protest as she wraps her arms around me. That's cute. Hey, what did I just say? Once again, she ignores me as she nuzzles against me. She pushes me down onto the pier and rolls over atop of me. Am I about to make out with my fish girlfriend? Hey. To my surprise, she smirks... One filled with lots of smoke. Okay, I place my hand over my mouth, her mouth, to cover it. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting images of fish people just... <laughs> okay, stop that. She barely leans down for my arms to give away to the weight. I wonder how heavy she actually is then. But then, is this like a hint about Bay? Because Bay's muscly, and she's heavy. So, like, I'm guessing the two, like, go together there. But whatever. All you do is swim. How are you so strong? She places her lips against me gently, as if she's afraid to hurt me. Oh, that's nice. I relax my body a little, wrap my arms around her neck. So she's doing that and I'm doing that. Sounds a bit strenuous, but whatever. We kiss softly till her tongue swipes at my lips, asking permission. I let her in and our tongue starts twirling around each other. Oh, yes, please. This goes on for a couple of minutes before I realise what we're doing. I push her away, which doesn't do much, but she complies. We can't... Yeah, we can. We have to stay just friends. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're you and I'm me. We live different lives. I mean, you can't live outside the water over an hour. She points at me, then makes a heart shape with her hands and points at herself. Right. I like you, yes. It's wrong to like you romantically. That's a bit mean. She shakes her head, no. Yeah, it is. I know that Skylar said you have a human form. And for me to like you, I have to know who you are. I can't just be with you, with half of you. I have to, I have to have the whole you. Oh, my brain is literally... You know when you get the blue screen of death? I mean, I'm sure no one's actually had that, but they know what it is. Well, that's what's happening with my brain right now. She shakes her head, no again. But you fucking made out with me. This is a relationship of trust. Like, the equivalent of being like, oh, a monster, you can't, you, it's really weird. Like, you, you have to, it's a personal thing. Like, you know, showing your true form. Isn't that a personal thing to have your fucking tongue down your throat? Fine, whatever. Then we have to stop this. Stop while it's still young, because I know I can't keep this up. She gets up and starts going back into the water. Wait. I grab onto her arm before she could go any further. I still want to be around you. You're something I look forward to, you know? Yeah, you're my friend. This doesn't change that, you know? She smiles sadly as she goes back into the water, not remerging. I wait before I realise she's not coming back up. I gather my stuff and head home. Alright, well that was sad and I feel a bit sad. <laughs> do I support this? Do I, do I just say yes? That this should... I mean, like, I know they are human, basically, and... I... <sighs> I don't know, like, I guess it could happen. I'm fine with that, and like, I feel like she's just coming on, like, I feel like I'm a woman being like, just kind of 
used for sex by a man right now. That's how this feels. And worse than that, I'm being used for my, my, the stuff I have. I mean, she provided me with a fish, which was nice. D don't get me wrong, that's a nice thing to do, but like, you know, I'm basically providing for her, both financially and with my flesh. So I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, but whatever, I guess this is part of the story. I still think Bay's gonna be the one we see, but oh, there's a ladybug outside my window. Sorry, I got distracted. I actually feel much better now. I feel like, it feels like nature's trying to comfort me. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna end the episode here. Don't know what's gonna happen next. I, I'm still waiting for Bay to reveal herself, but you know, I guess we're gonna have to wait several centuries for that. But yeah, if you guys can't wait and you want to skip through the game and see that for yourself, there will be a link to the game in the description down below. Without further ado, Link Wilkes Creamy Channel. Till next time. See ya.